It's a warm one today. Hello, guys. Hi, Derry. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Good morning, Rob. What's happening, man? Come on, let's go take a walk around here, see what's going on here this morning. Hey, John. What are you doing, taking this apart? Yes. Cool. What do you got going on here, Eddie? Okay, so this is a Porsche, and Ryan's going through the measurement process on it. Sustained a deer loss collision. Uh, some extensive damage to it throughout the glass, but part of what we got on this, this is an all aluminum vehicle. And as you know, the reason we are working on this all aluminum vehicle because we're manufacturer certified on the product. Right. Along with 13 other manufacturers from Ford, Chrysler, General Motors, right. Hyundai, Infiniti, you name it, we're right. going after it. Basically, this is a restricted vehicle. Parts can't be sold to anybody but a certified shop. And it's an expensive vehicle, but every vehicle in the shop is important. They're all expensive. And we care about them all, and that's why we're manufacturer certified. How'd this measure up? Pretty good? Measure up great. Yeah? Yep. Cool. Everything's, uh, Everything's back. back in green. Yeah. Cool. That's one thing that's nice about this one. We're done with the cars. All the cars that run through this frame shop in here. We have two visions measuring systems, and it measures the car back to one millimeter of the original build, which back in the day, you always heard that old saying, when a car is involved in a collision, it's never the same. It's never the same because they're not fixed right. The car's fixed right, and you have the right equipment, the right measuring system, and the right people, they're fixed right. So that's just a rumor, gentlemen, ladies. Come on, let's go this way. This will be baked in here in 20 minutes. It'll be perfectly dry. Bakes at 140 degrees. Yep. Nice clean finish, down dress spray booth, which you can see we have three of them here to keep oh, up with yeah, the workload. We use DBG, which is waterborne, yeah. which is environmentally friendly. And just here too, this is our aluminum specialized bay for nothing but aluminum. It keeps it out of the environment of the, the shop when you do aluminum repairs. There again, with all the factory certifications we have on, you know, for Ford pickups and the Porsches, the Audis, a lot of the BMWs now are all aluminum. A lot of GM cars now, some of the Cadillacs. And what Eddie explained earlier, if you're not going, if you're not a factory certified shop, you can't buy structural parts. And what that means, that means frame rails, yeah. Aprons, radiator supports, anything that has to do with the core frame section of the car, you won't be able to buy. Go through extensive training. Yeah. I mean, months and months. And then we're audited right. by the manufacturer. The manufacturer actually comes in, checks the repair process, looks at the cars, you know, checks our background, checks our credentials, checks our equipment on a yearly basis. And it's random and they do it whenever they want. So it's not like you. They come in, they want to see what's going on with the repairs of their vehicles. Come on, let's go take a look in here to see what's going on in the parts department. In here, this is where we order all the cars after they're fully torn down. We got a full parts order. Everything that comes in for the car, of course, is numbered. Every car has a number on it. As you can see, all those parts on the shelf there are for $63.91. Bigger parts are kept out here. As they come in, Walt tags them, make sure everything's nice and neat. That way the car comes in, it's a quicker repair. We don't have to wait on parts. And uh, they do a good job with that. This is all the bigger parts. Hello, Walt. Hey, how you doing, Rob? All right. This is all the bigger parts. Hoods, quarter panels, bumpers, you name it. Everything's kept out back here. Walt does a nice job with making sure everything gets out to the techs, which keeps the techs working on cars, get your car again back to you quicker. Here's what we just did, and we do some, you know, we do some classic cars, of course, because we have the museum up the street. Uh, as you see, the, the doors are off, the bumpers, the deck lid, all the weather stripping. This car we're just finishing up. This will be wet sand and rubbed yet, uh, but just, just came out of the paint shop yesterday, but it will go through a full detail which gets done on over here, which every car, it doesn't matter if it's a, a restoration or it's just a bumper paint, every car gets completely clean, speedy the tires, vacuum it out. Of course, we do our own trucks over here. We have three fellas that do nothing but clean clean our own trucks up. Hey, Hire. Hey, Robbie. Good, bud. 
Here's one we just did. We just got this Volkswagen get ready to go, which we'll go over the paint finish on it and make sure if there's any little nibs in the paint or any little kinds of dirt, they'll go over it, they'll buff it, wax it, make sure it's 100% right. We do all our quality control tech check in here too. For a car leaves, we check all the lights, air conditioning, anything that had to do with the repair is checked in here. Here's a Corvette we just finished. This just got painted. This was a color change back to the original. The original color, but there again, this car, it looks like it's pretty well wet, sanded, and rubbed, but on the other side, they're gonna paint the rims now, make sure the rims are the correct color. We'll blacken up the fender wells, and this will go back to the owner. And he'll still have it for the rest of the summer. Eddie. Yep. What do we got here on this Jeep? What are we doing? All right, so this Jeep just came in with collision damage well, down the side. Well, it looks like side. he's taking it apart. Yep. Yeah. So we're doing collision damage down the side. Show us the scanner over there. Kind of get a little bit more into that, what that's about, because that's important. The short version, keeping it simple, is every vehicle has a computer on board, have multiple computers on board. Right. All these computers store fault codes when there's a problem. Vehicles in a collision, there's more than likely fault codes. Our job is to capture this in the beginning, right. address any issues as far as programming, uh, you know, damage, whatever the case may be, related right. to the loss. Right. Because at the end of the day, the customer doesn't want to see a light come on when the car's done. Right. All these cars today are so technical, they pretty well drive themselves. Right. As any of you, any people know with the newer cars, if a car rides up on side, it gets in your blind spot, it will shake your seat. Right. All that has to work when the car is fixed. And all that's, that's all that's a about is doing the scan, you know, scanning it, make sure it's working right, and where what has to be fixed and the loss to make sure we get it back to pre-accident condition. So, cool. Looks like we got some stuff going on to Ed today, so yes, that's sir. a good thing. All right, Eddie, thank you. You're welcome, boss.